So there's been another major update on the Cody Gatpo to Manchester United situation coming out from Laurie Whitwell and Fabrizio Romano, tier one journalist, but also reports dive into the fact that Manchester United have had meetings with those involved in Cody Gatpo's agency at Carrington and Ten Hag and the board very much have had transfer meetings where it's kind of said to Ten Hag, you know, this is, will be part of your summer budget if the Glazers are still here. But also there's the discussion of will the Glazers spend or not because they might not be here in the summer, but they want to get top four to increase the value of the club. And that also went down in transfer meetings. So in today's video, we're going to dive into the transfer news today in general. There's a few other stories like Enzo Fernandez and Jao Felix, but we're mostly going to be diving into Cody Gapo, the Glazers selling, buying someone in January, what Romano and Whitwell have had to say about this. So please do smash that like button and of course subscribe down below if you're new because the breaking update really today, again from Romano, has confirmed that basically Cody Gapo is ready to join Man United. And if I was to summarise all the Cody Gapo news, in about 10 seconds for you, basically, it's will United pay the money or not? The player wants it, Tanag wants it, the, the, you know, he's ready, Romano said, negotiations are there, we know the price. It's will United pay the price or not to get Gapo? That is the answer to will we get him or not, if I'm being honest. But let's actually dive into the stories because we've got some very, very good journalists come out with some very good reports. We've got reports on the language going out on loan, Brandon Williams leaving, amongst more. So let's get into it. Also, I might be live tonight around 10 p.m. If not, there'll be a video. All depends on news and all depends because it's the Christmas period, so I'm a little bit busy, but yeah. So Laurie Whitwell sort of touched upon the new owner situation regarding transfers, what it means. And he said, agents are wondering what Manchester United being up for sale means for signings, but some feel that it would make sense for the Glazer family to once more dip into revolving credit um, facility to enhance the chances of Champions League football for next season. So they're saying, you know, he doesn't know for sure what the Glazers' plans are because they're probably selling, but maybe just one last dip to see if we can get Champions League next football to leave the club in a better position. That seems to be the message that agents potentially are getting as well, which means suggests that Man United could spend. I think the fact that we've actually had talks with George Mendes um, about Jao Felix, we've had quite a few talks with Jao Felix, but the fact that we've really been in talks with Cody Gapo and his agents and held some talks with PSV over Gapo suggests to me that United do intend on spending this January because they did save, I think, like 20 million with the whole Ronaldo situation. So there is money there to be spent. And I think whether there's a sale or not, you know, I think it's very obvious that United plan on spending. Obviously, I did a video yesterday updating you on Gapo and, and Jao Felix and what had come out last in the last week. This is just a further update on the Gapo situation. But if you want the latest on Jao Felix, then watch the video I uploaded yesterday because it was a, the latest everything you need to know on Jao Felix. But it was said this from Laurie Whitwell, and then I want to get to what Romano said. Laurie Whitwell said that Eric Ten Hag has is with the same agency as Cody Gapo. John Murta met with Kreese Voss, CEO of the SEG agency, which is the one that Gapo and Ten Hag have, at Carrington in the last fortnight, and Voss is a regular at Old Trafford and the pair see each other regularly. So what has come out from Laurie Whitwell is that Cody Gapo's agent, who is also Ten Hag's agent, is meeting John Murta at, you know, Carrington. If, you know, and that's not to do with Ten Hag if he's meeting John Murta, because Ten Hag's already at United. There's very much been meetings uh, with Gapo's agent, Murta and Ten Hag, discussing a potential deal for Cody Gapo. It's very much been confirmed by Laurie Whitwell that there has been meetings secret kind of meetings well not secret anymore because it's come out but meetings going on with Cody Gapo's agents you know with John Murta over a deal and I mean we kind of knew that already because we were told that negotiations were ongoing we were told that United had been talking to his agents and that you know Cody Gapo would agree to join United we, we kind of know that but yeah he's gone to Carrington for these meetings and that they are they have good connections we have a good connection with his agent which is good because we had a shit connection with Mina Riola and I think one of the reasons we are leading the Gapo race is Tanag's relationship and our relationship with Gapo's agents has given us a massive advantage over Liverpool and Real Madrid. And if you watched yesterday's video, it said that United are ahead of Liverpool and Real Madrid in the race for Cody Gapo. United are the clear favourites. Gapo wants United. That was the news that came out the other day. But what else was said? Basically, Laurie Whitwell followed up by saying Eric Tanag's liking for Cody Gapo has remained and scouting staff are aligned in this thinking too. So very much Man United and the scouts decided that, yeah, they like Cody Gapo. We have been linked to Jao Felix as well. I think we're just going to get Gapo. I think Gapo is priority over Felix. But Romano said this. Cody Gapo is ready to join Manchester United. The discussions with his agents has been positive. It's all up to United hierarchy. The player would cost around 55 to 60 million euros, which is 48 to 50 million pounds. So Romano is saying Cody Gapo is ready for the United move. Yet again, for Britsy Romano, 
uh, after we've had talks with PSB, after we've had talks with Gapo, after we've had talks with his agents, yet again, Romano has confirmed Gapo is ready for the United move. You know, we know that Romano said a couple of weeks ago, Gapo would accept the deal to United. Gapo would agree a deal to United. He's saying Gapo is ready. We've had those talks with Gapo. We know that he's ready. It's, you know, United know the price is around 50 million. And basically, Romano has pretty much said, Gapo 100% wants the move. Ten Hag 100% wants the move. Stuff is ongoing. We obviously know that the move wants to be done, done beginning of January. The player would cost this much. Will United pay it? To sum up Cody Gakpo, it's literally we know how much he's going to cost. We know he wants the move. We know United want the move. We know Tenag wants it done early, early Jan. And my fear is that we do get him, but we get him end of Jan and we spend four weeks trying to save five million. That will be really annoying when Tenag wants him early Jan. It's very much said by Romano. L literally, t they're ready for the move. Romano has said they're ready for the move. Gapo is Tenagas. They're all ready for the move. Will United pay the money? That is that is the hundred percent true from Gapo. That is there's nothing more you need to know. Will United pay the money or not? The big breaking story that we need to come out is that United put in an official bid. We know that we're preparing a forty million offer. They want fifty million, so we'll go just under. Then I think we'll put a forty five million offer in, and then I think it could be done early January. But we need the confirmation of this bid and that we're going to pay the money. And then I think if we get that confirmation, you very much know the deal will be done. It was said as well by Laurie Whitwell that it is possible that United could opt for a lower cost, more experienced striker in January. I would say Jao Felix, I don't know if he's more experienced, but I could see United maybe dabbling in that Jao Felix 8 million loan fee, then pay the wages. That's less than we would be paying to keep Ronaldo at the club. Maybe I think Jao Felix and Depay are backups. I think Gapo's priority, I think Jao Felix, we are in negotiations with George Mendes, we are talking to him. Uh, but I think, you know, maybe Depay is probably the backup for Cody Gapo, if I'm being honest. But like, I wouldn't be 100% sure on that. Just from what I'm hearing, availability and price, he would fit that bracket. And it was also said that whatever money is spent will come out the summer budget. And Ten Hag must decide in conjunction with John Mercer and Joel Glazer whether that's the right call. Now, I think Ten Hag is very much willing to take money out the summer budget because we're very thin in attack. And we need someone that's going to get us through to the Champions League, which would hopefully increase the budget. And also... Does it affect the summer budget, really, if you get new owners in? That's what I'd be thinking if I was Eric Ten Hag. To finish up the news, though, we've got news regarding other deals that aren't related to Gapo. We've got that United are the only club willing to spend €120 million, Euros, which is €105 million for Enzo Fernandez, which has come out from a very liable journalist. But I'm not sure if this is to get Liverpool to hurry up and up their offer. I think United like Enzo Fernandez, but I think we could be being used in this Enzo Fernandez transfer because Liverpool won't pay 100 million and they, and that's what they did with Darwin Nunes. Pretend United are interested um, just to see if we're going to pay the money. It was also said that United have scouted by Leverkusen right back Jeremy Frimpong, but it's expected they will only be looking for a loan signing for the right back position. So that's what Laurie Whitwell said regarding right backs. I know Ten Hag wanted a right back. I know that we kind of need a right back, but it looks more like Ethan Laird will be recalled or will get a loan deal because I think the money we spend will go on attack. And I think right back is going to just have to suffer to the summer. It was said again by Laurie Whitwell that United are expected to entertain talks over Random Williams and Everton are keen on a loan move for Anthony Alanga. Now, I think a Langer low move would be good, but I think we're so thin that actually we probably need a Langer off the bench because we're so thin in attack. But I do think in the summer, get a Langer that low move, get Brandon Williams a low move or a sale because they're two good young players and I think they can make it in the Premier League, but I don't know if they could make it for United. I think they could be very much your Southampton level players, but they're two good players and they're two players that need for their career, they need a low move. I think that would be the right thing to do. I think if I was to con going to conclude today's video, I'm confident on Gapo, very confident. I'm just, I'm not that confident on if United will pay the money or not. I think the fact that we've had negotiations this far and spent this much time on the deal would give me confidence that United are willing to pay the money, which would then result in the deal being done. We'll have to wait and see. I think really late December, really early January, we're going to know if it's going to happen or not. Uh, we'll keep an eye on Jao Felix and other Goncalo Ramos, Depay and other people that we've been linked to. Uh, but I think it will be Gakpo, no one else in January. And then I think it will be a big summer ahead. And I think there will be news in the coming months about new ownership as well breaking out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest on that. Thank you for watching. Smash the like. See you next time and bye.